friend today in this video i will discuss uh, about ferritin that why ferritin is more important and what is the difference between iron and ferritin means at the end of video you can understand that which test is more important to do or which test first need to check iron or ferritin so we will discuss basically about uh, ferritin and what is the difference between iron and ferritin and what are the symptoms if uh, ferritin will decrease or increase what are the normal ranges sources these all things we will discuss i will discuss with you in this video so let's start first what is ferritin ferritin the nature or structure of ferritin is ferritin is protein by nature and which type of protein ferritin is a globular protein the and that complex consisting of 24 protein subunits globular proteins are also called as ferro proteins because their structure is spherical or globe like so globular proteins are uh, we can also called as ferro proteins and these are one of the most common type of proteins and globular proteins are water soluble so ferritin is also a globular protein complex consisting of 24 subunits and primarily intracellular iron storage protein means the cells of ferritin what will do they will store inside iron and keep iron in soluble and non toxic form in the iron that is stored in ferritin that is in two forms soluble form water soluble form and non toxic form it means if iron will be in not stored in ferritin or if there is not enough ferritin in our body then the iron present in our body it will become toxic and non soluble so what are the main sources of uh, ferritin uh, sorry where, where where ferritin is found ferritin is found in liver spleen skeletal muscle and bone marrow and very small amount of ferritin is found in blood so now from this uh, until this we understand that ferritin by nature is protein and the um, primarily ferritin will store iron as non as the soluble and non toxic form and ferritin is a globular protein and consisting of 24 subunits of protein now we will discuss about the important point that what is the difference between iron and ferritin and which test is more important to check first iron is an important mineral so iron by nature is mineral but as we discussed before that ferritin is by nature is protein in nature but iron is a mineral as you know the body consist body needs different type of minerals like iron calcium magnesium phosphorus sodium potassium and these minerals we will get uh, from different variety of food and if we are not getting enough food these minerals we can get from uh, multivitamin that are available in pharmacies so but now the important thing is to discuss about iron iron is uh, an important mineral and that is present in red blood cells and uh, what is the function of red blood cells as we all know that red blood cells carry oxygen to the cells in the body and so iron and iron play major role in uh, the structure of hemoglobin as you know hemoglobin consist of heme and globin and heme part is iron part so iron uh, is important mineral required for the red blood cells but ferritin as i just told before the ferritin on the other hand is protein and what is the function of ferritin ferritin will store the iron and release iron when body needs it so ferritin is what we can say that ferritin is the iron storage uh, cell we can say yeah because it will store the iron and when body needs iron to make red blood cells that time ferritin will release the iron and the iron that is stored in ferritin is soluble and non toxic form so therefore which is the best indicator for iron deficiency is ferritin because 
if there is no and not enough ferritin will be in the body it means the iron also is not enough because if ferritin is not enough but iron is available in the body but that iron is will become toxic form and non soluble form so that iron cannot be used to make red blood cells so we must need to check first ferritin because ferritin is a as i told ferritin is a blood protein and which store iron and is a good indicator of how much iron present in the body and the amount of ferritin present in the blood reflects the total amount of iron available to the body for the future use so ferritin is best indicator first in the case of iron deficiency anemia we have to check ferritin that there is enough ferritin to store iron or not if there is enough ferritin then we have to move towards to check the iron but if there is not enough ferritin then no need to check iron test directly we will start to take uh, the treatment to make our ferritin normal next important point is that sample that which sample required for ferritin uh, we need a serum to check the ferritin level in our body uh, when if anyone need ferritin test they can go any time in the lab no need fasting sample any time can go and can collect they can give their blood sample and phlebotomist will collect the blood sample in clot activator tube that will be either red cap or yellow cap and uh, at least 2 to 3 ml blood sample is required and after centrifuge we will use serum to run the ferritin test for main as the we i discussed that ferritin mainly important to check the uh, for the iron storage but on the other hand there are some other roles also important that is played by ferritin or in some other conditions uh, not only in uh, iron deficiency anemia but there are also some other conditions in which we will check uh, the ferritin level Ferritin is an acute phase reactant and marker of chronic and acute inflammations. Actually acute phase proteins as we know that ferritin is also protein by nature. Uh, so acute phase proteins are the class of protein whose concentration in blood either increase or decrease in response to inflammation. And this response is called acute phase reaction or acute phase response. So there are two type of protein that are very important to check uh, to diagnose the inflammation. One is C-reactive protein and other is ferritin. So ferritin is also an acute phase reactant and marker for chronic and acute inflammations. It is elevated in a wide range of uh, conditions like CKD. CKD means chronic kidney disease, RA rheumatic arthritis and uh, other uh, autoimmune disorders, acute infections and there are different type of cancers in that we will also check the ferritin. So ferritin can also play as a tumor marker also. Ferritin is also used to diagnose uh, for iron storage. Ferritin is also used to diagnose any kind of acute and chronic inflammation. First of all, I will discuss high ferritin level symptoms. If anyone ferritin, if anyone patient, if ferritin level will become high, what symptoms are possible? Uh, muscle weakness unexplained weight loss, abdominal pain, pain in joints and hair loss. And if ferritin level decrease that time what will be the symptoms? Fatigue, dry skin and hair, headache, increase heart rate and difficulty in breathing. These symptoms will indicate low ferritin levels. Now we will discuss about normal ranges. First we will see in females or women. In women normal range is 13 to 150 microgram per liter. But uh, you check your on, on uh, 
laboratory what kit you are using what units and according to that units what normal range is so normal range is sometimes vary according to the machine and kits and lab and area so generally for women normal ferritin level is 13 to 150 microgram per liter if it is borderline low we will say 12 to 13 but if it is less than 12 it means ferritin levels are low if borderline high that time result will be 150 to 154 and if it is more high uh, more than 154 it means level is high for women uh, the normally the level will be 30 sorry for males men normal will be 30 to 400 microgram per liter if it is 27.75 to 30 it means borderline low and if it is less than 27.75 it means it is very low and if it is uh, 400 to 412 microgram per liter it means borderline high and if it is more than 412 it means it's very high as i told that in iron deficiency anemia these type of anemias ferritin level will be low but in thalassemia especially beta thalassemia and inflammation cases ferritin level will be increased now what are the food sources that will help to increase the iron levels that are red meats, nuts, lentils, food rich in vitamin C and green leaf vegetables. These all foods will help to increase the iron levels. Uh, now uh, this video is completed here. I hope now you understand difference between ferritin and iron and also understand that which test is important first to check ferritin or iron level and after that uh, we discuss about symptoms and normal ranges so this uh, sometime this question can come in uh, your viva exam or in interview also that uh, if you have to check the ferritin or iron which does you will prefer first to check or they can ask like that which is what is the difference between iron and ferritin and uh, why ferritin is more important than iron so i hope from this video you understand everything related to the ferritin in a brief way thank you so much i will meet you with new video